It's Tuesday, Tuesday. Nothing ever happens on Tuesday. But yeah, I'm back. I'm Turtle Kermit, and we're playing some Sonic Generations, and we're starting off the Dreamcast era. Now, if you guys were watching like the video I posted yesterday, I was doing a LP with Brad FF7, so I want you guys to go subscribe over on his channels to see me play Metal Gear. Anyway, about Speed Highway, but let me talk about Sonic Generations, or Sonic Adventure 1 for the Dreamcast, which is where Speed Highway is from. See how I segue it back to into that? But as 2D Sonic, this level is hard as balls because there's bottomless pits everywhere. And there's a lot of platforming, so I suck at platforming. Plus, I was watching Jaggy Chan Adventures while I was playing this. Thumbs up if you like Jaggy Chan Adventures. It's all on Netflix. And that is what I've been wasting my time doing all this week. But the 2D sections, like I've been saying, like, don't be surprised because I suck at, uh, at little stages like this just as regular Sonic, and I suck at platforming, so don't be surprised seeing me bounce up and down on trying to get on platforms because the physics are too slippery. But some incorporated elements that were taken from the original, um, the original, I don't remember, I want to call it a City Escape, but City Escape is next. But some of the elements taken from this level is you running and getting onto rockets like you see me just do like five seconds ago. I know I'm like being a little slow in this LP, but hey, I'm getting back in the swing of things. It's Tuesday. Nothing ever happens on Tuesday. Now, I can at least tell you this much, too. Um, you're going to want to keep jumping, like, because no, you can never stand still in this level. And this is probably a big point where a lot of people will probably get hit and die, but I've died on this little section right here a lot. But right here, just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. I, I, I never held circle down or everything. And I realized that you can't even keep uh, doing a spin attack, and you can't release it, neither, unless you jump, so... I just found that out, so... And, yeah, I suck. <laughs> Anything else I could talk about this level? Uh, the freaking music of this level is the first time they ever incorporated Sonic music or rock music, but since this is the first game for Sonic Adventure, which was the first game to take Sonic and put him on, you know, in the real world where all the real people live, like Dr. Robotnik and Chris from Sonic X, you know, they fuck Sonic X. Um, yeah, th like, this is where the game actually, like, takes the leap from just being some little kid game to, like, to a more mature game, which a lot of people wish they never went to that direction. But I appreciated it. I think it's just ever since, uh, Sonic, like, his interactions with certain characters, like, just made his, uh, character not as interesting. And it made us, like, unfamiliar with his environment, so we can't really say, like, oh, where's Sonic from? Um... Christmas Tree Island? <laughs> Which, by the way, that's the thing about uh, Mario. You can always say that, oh my gosh, Mario, he's from Mushroom Kingdom, and he's a plumber and whatnot. We can never actually say, where's Sonic from? We can't say, like, Green Hill Zone, because that's just the first stage. We can't say... Mm, we can't say Sonic's from, you know... Uh, what's that one place? Mobius, which is where the com comic books take place. Oh, man, I, I like the comic books, by the way. Not Sonic the comic. I never really read that, but I heard that one's really good, too. But I'm talking about Archie's comic, which is still going on to this day. And yeah, I suck. <laughs> um, speaking of Mario, by the way, like how I said, uh, Mario... Nobody ever says anything bad about Mario. Like, the two newest games, uh, Super Mario uh, Kart 7, or whatever it's called, where you can fly around with a hang glider and shit. Like, nobody says anything bad about Mario. That game was stupid. Like, they, they were unnecessary gimmicks. Unnecessary gimmicks. And also, like, in Super Mario World for DS, 3DS, Super Mario 3DS, it's not even all that good. Like, and they just all, oh man, I get uh, nine, and I get perfect scores all around. I'm all like, the game is pretty much the same thing as Mario Galaxy 2. <sighs> but I don't know, man. It's just me. Maybe I've just outgrown Mario, and I'm just tired of, like, people just praising everything he does, even though he's done it before. But transitioning on to the next part, we are starting off Mega Sonic stages. And the move I just used was Blast Off, which I bought from the store in the last part. And now you guys get to see it. Like, I get to use my boost gauge, like, at the start of a freaking level, and then I just keep running and running. Now, this level right here, like, it's modern Sonic. 
this is how the level is supposed to be presented. Us running through the city, like a whole bunch of different like stuff coming at us, going through buildings and whatnot. Even though that wasn't in the original Sonic Adventure, it was like those type of elements were there because, I mean, it was a 3D game, so... This is the turnabout point where Sonic stages, or modern Sonic stages, are gonna start, like, gonna have a lot more to do with the actual stages, um, because they're based off the original levels, instead of the Little Sonic, where his, uh, levels were based on the classic era. So. But about this stage, uh, I pretty much hate it, because they have all the, like, this is a big complaint to me. Like, if you're gonna have, like, uh, normal Sonic in this game, you should actually just give them only 3D stages, because, I mean, like, having all these 2D sections, what's the point of having a 2D Sonic, then? I can never get onto one of these ledges, by the way. I blame my own poor physics controls. But this is what makes this uh, level so popular. You just run through this building, and then, oh my gosh, we're running downhill a freaking building, and the cops are chasing us, and it's so epic. Oh my gosh. Which is probably why they wanted to add this level into this one. Even though I would have preferred uh, Emerald Ocean, or whatever the hell it's called, the first level from Sonic Adventure. But I heard that's in the DS version. Which I plan on playing, but I still don't want to buy DS because, like I was just talking about, Mario games are the only type of games that are good on it, and I don't even want to play none of them because I heard they all suck. And plus, just by looking at the game, I'm just all like, I don't even want to play them all that much. By the way, the uh, grinding physics on this game uh, sucks. Not grinding, but drifting physics. But maybe I'll just suck at using it, but hey, like you guys already noticed. Now I'm gonna be at this section right here for like a little bit of a long time because like I just I, I'm thinking I'm gonna die like as soon as I jump off the section. But as soon as I realize that I don't die, uh, I can actually get on talking about the rest of this level. There it is. Yep, you can't die. I'm sorry, I'm biting my lip at the same time I'm talking. You can't die from jumping around and stuff or just going out um, at the end of this level and just jumping right through these little hoops right here. Nor can you fall through it because you'll end up on that grind as well, so. Oh, man. After this, I got so much crap to do. I don't know, this is the part of the LP where I'm just going to start repeating myself because I just slide off here, like, I think a couple more times, actually. I don't know. Shit. Uh, look at that time. Chugga Conroy, yeah, my favorite LP here. Um, uh, uh, he's doing an Emerald playthrough, and he's about to get the uh, fourth badge. You know, I can't wait until people, like, like go back and probably watch this, like, one of my new subscribers go back and watch this video because they see me doing Sonic Generations. They're like, who the fuck is Chugger Conroy? He's not playing Pokemon Emerald anymore. It's not like it was in the past. Rocket! No, not the rocket from Sonic Colors, which is another game I didn't like because it was mostly 2D sections and you just got these little straightaway sections right here, which I freaking hate. But I think running on a city uh, harkens back to uh, the Sonic Unleashed level where you're playing through New York, which is why I like the Sonic, uh, Sonic Unleashed. They had mostly 3D sections, even though you can boost throughout the whole level, it's just fun speeding through them. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I, I, I appreciate Sonic's uh, faster gameplay than Super Mario. So tell me, you guys, which, who do you prefer, Mario or Sonic? I know that's like a standard question, but you know what, a uh, standard question desires a standard answer, and a lot of standard people will answer this standard question. <laughs> Get it? So, Super Mario or Sonic? Or just Mario and Sonic? Mm. They just released the new game, too, Mario and... Sonic at the 2012 London Olympics or something, whatever, which is going to suck because who really gives a shit? I heard those games aren't fun, by the way, but I guess it's depending on your cup of tea, but I wouldn't play them. Anyway, we just released Cream and Cheese, who was originally introduced in Sonic Advance 2, which I've owned, actually. I didn't own the third one. I owned the first two. It was scary in the dark, but I tried to be brave. I, I can never tell the difference between the voice actors that do her, by the way, so I'm just like, they all just get like some little high-pitched man and just do her voice like that. But anyway, you guys, tell me, who do you guys prefer, Sonic or Mario? Leave it in the comments, write to me, subscribe to me. Next time, we are going on to my favorite Sonic stage of all of the Sonic series, and that is City Escape. See ya!